previously on Lost Judgment. Talk directly into the mic. Talk into the mic, lady. Talk into the mic. Talk into it. Talk into the goddamn mic. And now back to Lost. <laughs> Mr. Kitty, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, and Merry Christmas to you too, Mr. Kitty. <laughs> Did I get any good gifts? I got some cool Japanese treats I'm excited to try. And I gave my niece a cozy penguin plushie. Meow. And that's it. Yeah, that's kind of about it. Meow. That's that's it. There's, there's nothing more. Meow. Oh, for God's sake, you're just trying to get me to give you something too, huh? Mr. Kitty, no, all right? I'm not giving you anything. You already bug me for shit all the time. I'm not giving you something. Meow. No, I will not give you tuna for Christmas, all right? You don't deserve that. You get tuna cold for Christmas. How about that? Meow. Hello! Sneak up Back with some more Lost Judgment. When we last left off, we helped a crazy ass teacher overcome his anger management issues. And we also executed with the main plot. And we met uh, uh, that character, that guy we ran into uh, back at the school, Watanabe, the uh, other detective who was assigned to the case. And has essentially now sort of uh, gotten some information out of us. I think we got a little information out of him as well, though. And established a bit of an alliance, or at least a uh, another potential resource to uh, find and share information with. And it's good. I guess I'm really enjoying both the main story and the side stories in this game quite a bit. Um, they definitely like the side content has a lot of meat to it, man. Like a lot of goddamn meat, but it's good meat. You know, it's like it's quality like sub stories. Like I still love that. Uh, like thinking back, I love that alien one, man. That one really I thought it was great. And the, actually that one with the teacher was pretty hilarious too. And I think the school stories are a lot of fun. Even if, for what I've seen, some of the mechanics for some of these maybe aren't fleshed out as well. Apparently I heard mention from you guys, apparently, uh, the the part where it brought up the, the parkour and like running along walls and swinging from bars, apparently doesn't happen again until like the very end of the game. And it's so late that apparently when it actually happens, at least from what I heard, apparently it actually gives the tutorial again because it's been so long. So clearly there was maybe a little bit of uh, some spots were maybe not as uh, polished up as maybe they could have been. It's not too surprising because a lot of times these Yakuza and Yakuza style games uh, tend to really focus a lot of times on quantity and not always quality. I do think the quality though of what is actually here overall is really good. Um, and I think the probably the biggest focus and the biggest star of it is the stories and the actual writing of the characters, you know, like that seems quite good this time around and hey you know what i mean i've already seen the worst of the of the yakuza side stories all right just look at fucking any of the the dumb kiwami one side stories or honestly a very large chunk i mean yakuza 3 had the most side stories out of any of them but it had also had a fuck ton of shitty ones too some great ones but a lot of shitty ones and for so far i haven't really come across any that have been like oh that's just a dud i mean the old man one was a nice sort of callback to the first game even if it wasn't anything insane but it also tied into the tutorial thing so it, it, it was perfectly fine for what it was but that's good i'm glad there's like an equal amount of quality between both the main story and the side stories in this game at least so far now that said i did notice that some people just may are just here for the main story uh, and I realized some of my s thumbnails for some of these previous episodes have really just focused mainly, mainly on side stuff, even though I actually did do a main story a few times. So if you're one of those people, uh, I did actually do some main story stuff in episode 14 uh, by accident. I, I literally like teleported me into a main, a main story cutscene. Uh, and we also did main story last episode with the angry looking guy. I was trying to stop between doing the angry looking guy's face or the, or the Watanabe detective guy's face. And I decided to go with anger guy just because it was more exciting looking. And I thought it, it kind of funny. But I'll also likely be checking out more uh, main story this episode. Uh, though I do honestly want to check out this one story over here just simply because I know that this is only available at night now. And it might be a good idea to try to get any of those ones that are like not available all day every day. But anyway, last episode, uh, JJR said, uh, Kaido. Hey, talk. How was your night? Yeah, I mean, well, I joined half the clubs in school, started to learn boxing, taught a kid not to cheat in Virtual Fighter, started building robots, learned to skateboard real good, joined a biker gang, and that fight near the cafe happened. How was your night? We ordered some pizza la pizza. I saved you some kick ass. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's right. I, I love it. Like, God is seemingly so bored. Like, I haven't gotten to do anything. This whole fucking game yet. God. Oh, all I've done is hang out with Sugiura and drink all day. Sugiura is such a buzzkill. Fuck you, you're a buzzkill. Ah, oh, god damn. Ah, oh, Yagami. Bring me out of your adventures. I want to do some more drone stuff with you. Remember when we used to do that? Remember that when we used to do that last game? <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, I'm kind of surprised. Kind of really hasn't gotten much of a chance to 
to actually do stuff yet. Except, I mean, like, I guess they, they helped at the start in that one, in that one case, in the very beginning. And I guess we also helped infiltrate the school for a little bit. But since then, I mean, granted, to be, to be fair, I've only probably done maybe like an hour's worth of main story after, what, like fucking episode five? Like, seriously, between like, it was like, Episode 5, I think, was the last time I did main story till like, episode 14, where I actually stumbled into the main story. So, it's, it's not like I've really gone very far in the the main plot anyway. So, I guess it's not that surprising. But, JJR, thank you so much for your hilarious comment. And it's the reason you are comment to the day. But, okay, I do want to continue with the main story a bit more. Um, I don't want to just jump right back into the side content. Because uh, I feel like last episode, it was fun, but we also only, it was really just a lot of, a lot of exposition and establishing Madanabe and stuff. Uh, however, before we do that, let's go see. There's like a lady over here. She looks like she probably, probably could use some help. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Come here. Come here. I got something to show you. Oh, get wrecked, asshole. I know. I've had that happen to me too, dude. It hurts, right? Let's go ahead and do another one of these. Uh, what do I want to do? Sharpen my... Sharpen my perception. I'm guessing I move the at normal speed and you guys move slow. Uh, increase my defense. Em okay, let's try this one. Tell a mysterious extract allows you to grab enemies with invisible hands by holding circle, then releasing to deal massive damage. Oh, my power! Ah, ah. Oh, wow, that really fucked me up. Apparently, come. Uh, oh my! That's right. You're nothing but dirty peasants to me. Now die. Oh, oh my God. Holy shit, that was amazing. <laughs> I love how casual Yagami is about this shit. Like I've got the power for God, but also hey, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna force choke these fucking kids here. Watch this guys. Come over here kid, that's right. I'm your goddamn homeroom teacher. You will treat me with respect, you little assholes. Now ragdoll for me. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, I am such a great teacher. <laughs> oh my God, I love it, dude. It's so fucking zany. Uh, I wish this shit wasn't so busted, you know? This shit is like so insanely busted. Otherwise, I would totally do it like a... Like, part of me wants to like do it in a story cutscene, but God damn it, would it totally fucking ruin the scene. Let's be honest. Not to mention, it is just so insanely... Whoa. But bust what where, where did that guy go? I didn't even get a chance to kick him and he just died. I guess a car hit him? I guess? Even though I didn't like a car is that close by, he just like melted into the ground. <laughs> He's fine, whatever. I I just erased him from existence. It's all good. But yeah, I wish this shit wasn't I don't know. I I mean I guess it kinda has to be busted. It's a DLC dumb shit anyway, but God, it's just like just imagine how fucking hilarious story fights would be. You can do like some emotional fight, one of your best friends dies or something. And you're like, screw this, you drink your crazy juice and fire a copy of your main dude. You're like, ah! I'm gonna bet the AI has probably no idea what to even do to this shit either. So it probably just like, fucking just wigs out. All right. Whoa! Well, hello there, man. You appear to still be freaking out, even after a full day. Huh? Wow, this one's scared soul right there. Hope they're okay. Stay soft, be an ass and leave. Call out. Yo. Uh -oh. Hey, are you all right? Uh, who are you? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not a bad guy. I mean, I did just <laughs> just kill like six souls with my fucking force powers, but you know, that aside, just like you were feeling down. So I thought I'd see what I could do. I don't know. Could I get you some water or something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I'm fine. Not like a drink of any type could help me anyway. Okay, based on that little comment right there, there's definitely something troubling her. I'd really like to help. Do you need someone to talk to? Huh? Yagami. My name's Yagami. I'm a detective. So you know I'm better at conversation than just your average guy on the street. You're a detective? I'm a... Can I make a request then, Mr. Conversationalist Detective? Investigate my stalker. Aye. That was fast. But sure, I can help you with that. I'm good at stalking stalkers. I'm on my way home from work. Every time I get to this leg of the journey, I feel like I'm being watched. It's scary. It's not happening right now, mind you. It's gone for some reason. So you're afraid some stalker could be hiding and watching. <sighs> yes, I swear I feel a pair of eyes on me. But I never see anyone. It's probably Ryan. <laughs> that fucking ninja. He's probably on a crawl on a wall somewhere. Have you talked to the police about this? 
Yes, but since I don't have any evidence and no one knows who the stalker could be, the police can't do anything. Unfortunate. It could be nothing, but if it's really a real stalker, this could definitely spell trouble. Tight. I understand. Well, maybe I'll investigate some other time. Just contact me if you ever want to get rid of that being watched feeling. Oh, my name's Kyoko Akase, by the way. Akase-san. I remember that. Thank you so much, Detective Yagami. It's faint, but I smell disinfectant on her. Maybe she works in the medical yeah. field. No problem at all. Why don't I escort you home? It's dangerous tonight. My, well, I see being a detective also means being a gentleman. Ooh! Sure, I wouldn't mind being walked to the taxi stand. Yeah. One of the best features of a detective is how classy we are. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. What the hell was that? <laughs> Somebody's watching you. What the hell was that sound effect? That's not the usual little ditty that plays. <laughs> is this one going to kill me? Am I going to die? What? Wait for Kyoko Akase's call. Well, oh. Really? Well, I guess we're good then. I assume that I can just keep going about my day now. It doesn't have to be nighttime. Well, that was a quickie. Alrighty then, I guess we'll just uh, keep going. Damn it, I was really hoping that lady would tell me something about squirrels. By the way, have you seen those weird graffiti signs everywhere? Have I? <laughs> me too. Uh oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna take this column in the middle of the street. Yes, it's Yagami. I'm um, Tiki Yagami, it's Akase. You met me the other day? I mean, literally 30 seconds ago. I'm calling because of what we talked about. Kyoko Akase-san, the woman who asked me to look into a stalker. I told her to contact me, she felt like she was being watched again. Akase-san, have you been okay? Do you feel like you're being watched right now? I do. I can feel it right now. I'm close to where we met last time. Gotcha. I'll be right there. Stay there and try not to give any hints to the culprit that someone's coming. Yeah, I can do that. I won't look for you. Um, I'll just be waiting. Show you over there where she is, around Hiyaki Street. Uh, oh. Actually, actually a little closer to where I am now, then. Good. It's not the exact same place, but... Uh, uh, right around the corner. I'm coming, lady. Watch this. Uh, ah! Oh, shit. Ah, uh, uh, oh, damn it. That's what I can't do on damn sidewalks. I'm gonna go over here and smoke real quick. Hope you don't mind. Oh, shit. My six. Lady, can I bum a cig off you? Like I son? You got me son. I feel it over there. Well, I'm looking at it and there doesn't seem to be anyone. <sighs> I definitely feel someone's gaze right now. I see. Doesn't seem like she's lying. There really is a stalker. That was my only chance. Let's try and lure out the stalker, that stalker, and catch him. I'll need your help to do that, Akase-san. Help? Okay, what should I do? I want you to stand here in a manner that'll make you stick out like a sore thumb. Go, ooga booga booga! <laughs> I'll be in the shadows trying to see who's after you. This may be tough and a lot like a sting operation, but to catch the stalker as soon as possible, this might be the only way, the best way. It's all right. I'll do it. Great. Act natural. Just keep staying there while looking around. Got it. Okay. I mean, there's a guy right there. Okay. She'll be able to observe the surrounding area from here. Time to find who's watching her. As for the suspicious points so far, I mean... Hey, look, a cat! It's dark and hard to see, but that's a cat. Let's prowl around here often. Ah, no bonus points, big sad. I mean, that person who wears sunglasses, who wears sunglasses at night. <laughs> Only thugs, that's who. Someone trying to hide their face and gaze, maybe? No, it's probably just some fashion thing. Might be stretching too much. All right, let's figure out who's watching. I'll give her the signal and have her walk down this path. Scratch the ear. He hung up on his phone. Uh oh, he's coming. Oh. <laughs> and he stops. There's a there's a girl over there. Looks like she's peeking around the corner. Okay, I noticed a few things while she was walking. Hmm? Yeah. The high school girl's sort of hiding and looking at something. Could it be her? And the gaze is definitely directed toward the high school boy. Not the kind of gaze Akase sounds feeling. Oh, this guy. High school girl. Oh, he's just toying with his smartphone. He's waiting for something? I mean, this guy definitely followed her. The guy in the sunglasses is near nursing Kyoko-san. Could it be? Now, Kyoko-san she says she couldn't see whoever was looking at her, even after looking around. Doesn't make sense that the stalker would be walking right behind her like that. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> is it the squirrel? Oh my God, there is a fucking squirrel. H lady, hold on, hold on. Can we, we need to stop the sting operation right now. This fucking squirrel, dude. It's this damn squirrel. That's who it is. That's the key behind everything. I fucking knew it. 
for nothing. You guys ain't been listening to me. You think I'm full of shit and fucking crazy pants? But look, look at all these connections. Look at them. Every scene, every scene, they're right there. Also, the cat's here. The cat isn't just roaming randomly. It's walking straight onward at a steady pace. It's. No, I don't think I can pinpoint it yet. I should ever go again. <laughs> all right, she's walking again. I'm gonna walk forward again. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> it's like a parade of people behind her. Okay, looks like he's actually walking past her. A cat, though. Yo, Mr. Kitty. Well, there's a guy. I wish to fight you, ma'am. Okay. Yo, but seriously, that squirrel there. Right next to Biff's bar. Okay, she's still walking. That's for what caught my eye. Dude, that cat is still there. Just look at that Kyoko sign as it walks along. It's matching your speed, too. Could it be? It's the fucking cat. I told you, dude. Huh? That's the owner of the Takayaki stand. He's glaring at everyone walking by. Could it be? Well, he doesn't own the place. Why wouldn't he be? Why wouldn't he be glaring at his customers? It's the fucking cat, dude. This cat's trying to kill you. It's not going to be somewhere in my field of vision. Why didn't I see him? Akasi san about the stalker's identity. Uh, a, hi a hiding high school girl. The man with sunglasses. Takayuki stand owner. I think it's the cat. A cat. Uh, what? A cat? Hi. Yes, it's a black cat, so it's a little hard to see. But the eyes that were staring at you the whole time were from this kitty. Mm -hmm. Really? This cat was. Nah. Do you recognize this cat? Do you feed it? Did you feed it at any point? It's got a little collar on. No, not at all. I see. Huh. There's something on his collar. Is this an address? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's someone's pet? Yeah. Looks like it. Let's go to this address. I might find out something. Hey, yeah. Cool. Let's go to this empty warehouse. This is it, according to the collar. Sakura Medical Clinic. Looks like a hospital. But abandoned for a long time. Mm. Hmm. Maybe the cat got left behind by the owner? Um. This, that hospital's out of business. If you're having a heart attack or anything, you better find another place. Huh? Yeah. No, no. We're not having a heart attack or anything. We're looking for the address on this cat's collar, which we think is here. Huh? A cat. Oh, Cherry. I didn't think you'd still be in this town. <laughs> Mr. Kitty. It always comes back to Mr. Kitty. Do you know this cat? I do. She used to live on the second floor of this clinic. The second floor? The first floor was a clinic, and the second floor was where the doctor lived. At first, Cherry was just straight, straight hanging around, but eventually the doctor adopted her. Oh, she, the, the cat smells the uh, the disinfectant on her, right? And it probably reminds her of the, uh, the, the, the other doctor. I see, but you said this place went out of business. Does cat get left behind when the doctor moved? Of course not. She wouldn't do anything so irresponsible. She loved Cherry. What happened was she fucking died. She's dead in the in a car accident. Eh? What? You know the crosswalk with a lot of traffic near Hayaki Street? A drunk driver ran the light. They said she died instantly. She was on her way back from a house call. That's terrible. For a very long time, Cherry wouldn't move from the scene of the accident. But then she suddenly disappeared. I thought I'd never see her again. Where'd you find her? Near Hayaki Street. <laughs> Is that right? Is cat uh Cherry kept staring at my friend here and following her too. Yeah, I didn't know what was watching me, so I've been trying to figure it out forever. I didn't know it was Cherry. Ah, I see. Interesting thing is the doctor was young, just like you. She was built like you too. Yeah. Do you work at the hospital or something? I can smell the disinfectant on you. Hi. Well, sort of. I think Cherry thought you were the dead doctor. Naruhodo. Yeah, I get it. That's why Hakase-san only felt the gaze on Yaki Street. Cherry wanted to protect her. Oh my god. Ah, oh, guardian angel kitty. Aw, oh, she's sleeping. Well, why don't you ask, ask her yourself? Cherry's smart, just like the doctor was. I'm sure she was, she, she's who was gazing at you. Which means the gaze was from my would-be bodyguard, not a stalker. You're a good girl, Cherry. That's a good Mr. Kitty. That's a good kitty. Thank you, Cherry. You're a cat in shining armor, aren't you? <gasps> oh, she's a good kitty. I know. Um, please tell me if I'm wrong about something, ma'am. Hmm? Might you be a relative of Sakura Sensei? 
Why do you ask that? I'm curious as to how you know so much about the doctor. And you're crying. Hi. Ever since I lost my daughter, time has just stopped. Even the minutes I spent with Cherry at the scene of the accident felt like an eternity. It was so sudden, I haven't even been able to take the sign down from the clinic. I keep thinking she might come home one day. I thought Cherry and I shared the same paralyzing grief. No, no. But not exactly. Cherry moved on in a way. Yes, she did. She looked forward and dedicated herself to protecting someone. She made it her purpose to prevent another tragedy. Maybe I should do better, like her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rambling now, but I think I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Anna? Um, hmm? Could I maybe take care of her? I'll take total responsibility for all her needs. That's not up to me. You'll have to ask Cherry. <gasps> the cat's already chosen. And again, it looks like you don't have to ask. <gasps> Kitty love. Kitty love lady. Kitty loves lady and lady loves kitty and kitty loves lady too. It's nice to meet you, Cherry. Oh my god, it was so fucking sweet. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I have diabetes now. Oh. Are you going to be okay getting home? Hi. Yes, my house isn't far from here. Really? Good. Plus, you have a reliable little bodyguard with you, too. <laughs> I guess I do. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah. No problem. If there's anything that troubles you again, let me know. I will. Think I can rely on you for anything when that time comes, Yagami Sensei. Huh? huh? Oh, then again, you're just the advisor to the MRC. So I guess you're not technically a teacher. What? Uh, Wait, do. how did you know that? Did I say it at some point? <laughs> yeah. No, I know because I'm the school nurse at Syria High School. Eh? What? Maji de. Really? Eh? Really? But don't worry, you didn't forget me. We never met at school. That's true. I never could dig go to the nurse's office. I guess that explains the antiseptic spell on her. Mm. But if that was the case, you could have told me. I'm sorry. At first, I didn't want to burden you with a bunch of details. I just forgot I hadn't told you. I guess with the whole soccer thing, it wasn't at the forefront of your mind. Let me try again. I'm Kyoko Akase. I'm the nurse at Serial High School. Yagami-san. Look forward to working with you, Yagami-san. And, and I, you. <laughs> Even though I'm the nurse, I don't know much about the school. I just started working there. Oh, yeah? Hi. Yes. It's been pretty tough for me at the new, new school, but I'm sure I'd, I'm sure I'd need to work harder. If anything ever troubles you, Yagami-san, please don't hesitate to come to me. I could do... I can't do any sleuthing, but I can do some counseling. <laughs> huh. Yeah. I'll have to stop by sometime. When I get an injury... When I get an injury. Oh. Yes, I guess so. I could do your wounds, so they'll be fine. E yes, it'll be fine. Huh? It's just my imagination or did her mood suddenly change? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you're hungry. I'll go buy you some food. I have to excuse myself. See you at school. Hi. Yeah, see you later. Take care, Cherry. Watch over Kyoko Sensei. <coughs> Good, Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty. Look after her, okay? <coughs> Mr. Kitty. I said look after her. <coughs> Mr. Kitty. Well, I ended up being a lot sweeter than I thought I was going to be with that fucking, that fucking sound effect to play when it, that, this, this quest started. <coughs> I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Am I going to die? She going to turn to be like a fucking serial killer or something? Do they think the client turned out to be the school nurse slash counselor? When I get some free time, may I'll stop by and tell her my troubles. It's not like I got any troubles to discuss. I mean, if I get sleepy, I'll go over there and take a nap at least. <gasps> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> that was actually... I was like, is this actually going to be... It is! I was like, okay. Okay. I had to just say, I'm, I did sort of notice. I'm like, this character her, This character looks a lot nicer than a lot of the other generic people I meet. I'm like, I swear to God, this person looks like they had to be based off a real person. They're so pretty looking. Well, there you go. That's fucking why. Girlfriends, we meet lots of different women around town, but only a handful of the potential to be your girlfriend. After giving yourself a girlfriend, you can chat her up and ask her out on dates. As they interact with you more, they'll grow more intimate and maybe trigger new girlfriend-related events. Chat as often as you can, and something special might happen when you get really close. Gonna get laid. Well, there you go. There you go. I guess they get... Wait. Uh, no. Here? Yeah. All right. I guess this is probably the only one that... Because th the weird thing is, like, they say multiple girls, but in reality... This is seemingly the only girlfriend you could have gotten in the in the regular base game. The other three are literally DLC. I was like, damn, I thought I was like, this chick looks really good. Why why did they dull this girl up so much? It was just for like this little short thing. And oh, wait, no, there we go. 
Uh, so I'll follow dream becoming school nurse. After that, she's confirmed by terrifying gaze in the dark. But Yagami happened to be in the area and came to rescue for Mr. Kitty. She's 32 years old. And her favorite food is Yakanagiri, just like me. And I don't even know what that is. Talents can perform more than 100 reps when lifting weights. Holy shit. Fucking diesel. 300 pound dumbbells. Fuck. Uh, uh. Well, that was cute. She does seem very sweet. Uh, I don't know if I should do that right now. I wouldn't mind talking to her sometime. That said, I hope to fucking God the girlfriend events are handled better in this game than they were in the last. Because God damn it, I fucking hate how they did it last time. I really hated it. Maybe that's why there's only one in the base game. So you don't have to go through the awkwardness of like what would led to. I don't know. The, the problem was that in the last game, it's like you basically, it basically pushed you into like dating all the girls, right? And like Yagami would remark on it if he, if he dated another girl, like, aren't I dating somebody else? Is this a problem? And then just like, whatever. I mean, of course it didn't matter, but the problem is if you said no to the girls after like, essentially the whole time you're like wooing them and flirting with them and making very clear that you were interested in them. If just wait till the last minute and be like, no, nah, never mind. I am not actually interested in you. They basically just like, they either break, they like broke down and cried or like beat the shit out of you. And it was just like, I was like, what the fuck, man? That's what I get for, for trying to be a good guy. Like the problem was it wasn't like a, it was clearly not platonic everything all the way up to that point. So it, it was kind of hard to like pull that off. So I hope if they do something similar in this, I hope they do it fucking better. I did get some SP here. Uh, all right, let's do X flowing kick. A merciless high speed attack unleashed upon stunned enemies. Sounds good. Kick him right in the face. I don't know if that's a one we've had before or not. I don't, I don't recall that one from the last game. Well, all right, cool. Uh, I wonder, I'm actually, I'm actually almost curious if she's even there at nighttime. Does not appear to be from what I can tell. What? Oh, there's a shop in the, oh, in the school we are, or the courtyard. Wait, was that there before? Yeah, I don't see her. I imagine it'd be like a heart or something on the, on the map here, but I'm not seeing anything. Which is good, because I don't think that would make a whole lot of sense. There's a dude here, apparently. I don't know how I missed you before. Oh, you were definitely not here. I have definitely been down this way. You got me son, aren't you? And come on, Master Yama told me about you. Oh, oh, no, you definitely weren't here. So the best extracts of materials the master passed down to me to you. Got any new stuff? Got like a recipe or anything? Um, okay, well I can buy the the super extracts here, including the stealth ones. God, they're fucking expensive though, dude. Um, I guess I gotta, might as well just buy this shit. They're cheap as fuck and surprising amount of cat food is needed to make these, uh, these extracts I've noticed. Lots of cat food. You definitely got some stuff that actually is good for, for drone stuff as well. Oh, good. A cigarette bud. Just what I needed. A mysterious bulb. Stretchy rubber. I've already found a ton of those. Thank you. Does not appear to, uh, have any recipes though. Just regular weird shit. All right. Thanks, bro. Okie dokie. All right. Well, we did the nighttime one. So let's go ahead and head back to, uh, uh, Yokohama 99. Uh, wiretap apparently. What's going on? Wait, what? Oh, this is part of something. It is. I was like, that's weird. I don't see any like icon on the map that in any case there's like gossip going on. Oh, uh, wiretap. And you know who did it? Who knows? Could be corporate espionage. Uh, no. uh, excuse me? Did you just say c corporate espionage and wiretapping? Uh, yeah, that's right. Our comp company's currently in crisis mode. Turns out confidential information's been leaking to our competitor. Sorette. Did you find any bugs? Yeah, actually, we found one by pure accident. We hire a detective to sweep the building and he finds five more. Apparently, it's happened all over as usual lately. Everyone's talking about it on chatter. Some company, some corrupt detective willing to do all sorts of shady things. Mm. Really now? The corrupt detective's in town, huh? I should look into this cricket competition. What does the buzz researcher have to say? Oh, well, okay. Guess I'm not going back there after all. Here we go. Listening devices. Okay, in this general vicinity. Oh, they caught the guy already. Oh, they, they caught the culprit to set the listening devices. I want to check this out. Okay, well, uh, I'm guessing this is a police station. Is it going to be that goofy guy? That guy I've fought me before? This fucking song, dude. I cannot escape this, can I? What's that song uh, for the housing minigame from uh, Yakuza 0? 
Or was it the fucking hostess shit? I don't know. We've heard it a lot. I feel like we've heard it more than just one mini game. Mati. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I remember it was the uh it was the mini game that uh involved sending dudes out uh to uh get items for you. Ah family. Ah. That's right. Wait, I th was that Yakuza Zero or was that Kawami? I don't remember. I think I'm having zero. They always hear it. So this is where they found that wiretapper. Already quite a crowd here. Uh, oh, voice acted, not voice acted. Uh, oh, hey, there's, uh, uh, it's our guy. I, I told you, I'm here to locate them. Not, uh, as, as I told you, I'm here to locate them, not plant them. Hmm? That sounds like I'm a detective for real common 99. I pe picked up wire tap signal here. So I came to sweep for it. Oh, God damn it. That guy is the Gumo. You know, a detective? Who hired you? Well, I'll text a strict code of high and confidentiality. But I admit this wasn't for an official case. But more of my own curiosity, so. Your curiosity? Yeah, sounds like the likely cover story for a serial bugger like people have been complaining about. And you definitely looked the part. Oh, dear. Eh? Uh-oh. Sakuma's about to get pinched. Oi. Hey, Sakuma. Dude, I'm supposed to run. I'm about to go Yamamichi. talk to you back at the agency. What are you doing out of your hole, Sakuma? Ha ha. What time, Yagamishi? I could really use your backup. The security guard is accusing me of plaguing the town with bugs. You know this guy. Hey. Yeah, so we've been friends for a long time. Just as he said, he's a detective. And he's definitely not the kind to resort to such shady jobs. I'm not so sure I should be trusting you either. Do I have like a card or something I could show these guys? Not trustworthy, huh? Quick flash of this should take care of it. My fucking <laughs> work clothes. Behold. This is who I am. As you can see, I'm not a suspicious individual. Yeah, detective too. Maybe you're the corrupt det detective everyone's talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm definitely not corrupt. Right, just like any corrupt detective would say. Damn, that detective's really giving me the, giving us the, the bad rep around here. Not trustworthy, huh? Oh. Damn it, really? Okay, fine. How about this? I'm glad I seriously had an animation for that, though, which was kind of nice. My name's Takiki Yagami. I'm a lawyer. If I'm going to treat my friend like a criminal without any proof, then Spash might have to come into play at some point. <laughs> I, I mean, I say that. I like to, I'm glad they let me keep this, by the way. <laughs> huh? You're a lawyer? <laughs> well, the lawyer's fast for him, and I don't see a problem here. Sorry about that. Have a nice day. That's right. Fuck off. I my. Well, thank you for your assistance, Yagamishi. Truly, you rescued me in the nick of time. Uh, What's all that about, anyway? That wasn't the first time I've heard wiretapping causing a fuss around here. Uh, Indeed. Suppose this detective in Ajicho has been offering his services for a, a wide variety of illegal purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard something about a corrupt detective earlier. So he's the wiretapper that the security guard was hoping to catch. Hi. Presumably so. This individual's performed some rather unsavory duties for clients, assisting stalkers and loan sharks in finding their targets, for example. Mm. This guy sounds pretty awful. Any legit detective would turn those clients down. I wholly agree. The notion of allowing this man to tarnish the title of detective did not sit well with me. Hence, I was driven to the field to investigate. <laughs> but I just wound up being accused of performing the deed I was attempting to stop. Goodness, whatever can I do? Ah! Uh... Maybe try cutting out the slight grins and conspiratorial giggle giggles when you're on the job. Mm -hmm. But I can't help grinning when dealing with such fascinating subjects. Oh, how about instead I have you continue the investigation for me? You can use this to track clandestine signals emitted by yours truly. Huh? You want me to do it? <laughs> yes, it appears I'm destined to bear the cross of suspicious individual. Suspicious individual. But you certainly have no worries of that. Oh. The stud muffin you are? Uh, I don't know about so that. I literally just got accused of the same thing. Well, I certainly do. You we got an ace, you got an ace up your sleeve. An attorney's badge you can flash in a pinch. So that being said, please take this with you. It's a gun. Detector. You said this thing picks up clandestine signals? Because it also pick up squirrels? Fuck, I forgot about the squirrel! I gotta go back to that spot! Precisely, it can detect anything emitting a suspicious signature from up to a few t few tens of meters away. Bugs, spy cams, the like. There's a signal coming from behind this building. Perhaps you should look for its look source. <laughs> oh, God, dastardly detective! Huh, is that the... I swear to God that... That's not the sound that it had been playing before. Why is it suddenly playing this like, it did that for the last one we did with the girl. 
Normally it's like a da -da 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 -da, like this little little ditty. Is it for like the really serious ones? <laughs> like holy shit! All right, behind the building, got it. I'll give it a try. Uh, ooh, I got a new gizmo. All right. Uh, the detectors. Gas allows you to track down the sources of electronic signals. The blinking light indicates the detector's proximity to signal emitting device. The indicator will blink green when, fa when correctly facing the direction of the source. When the signal grows stronger, move in that direction to uncover the source. Use it by accessing the detector app from the gadgets. Cool. And this Kuma vanished into the night. Oh, wait, nope. He's right over there. Uh, fuck. Where was that, uh, area? I think it was over. It was right here, right? Yeah. I gotta, I gotta come back to this street at some point. But for right now... We'll do this. Is this a behind the building? So it's like a big ass pager. Okay. Ah, I just ran into a car. Okay, this definitely isn't working. So I'll go over to this side. Beep, 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 beep. Where are you, goddamn alien bastards? It's like, come down to my planet. Bug my fucking city. Not on my watch. Okay, clearly I have to be really fucking close to this thing to. Even trigger an initial uh, detection here. Wait. Uh, I'm getting something. Oh, 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 the red means I'm going away from it. Green means I'm moving towards it. Okay, got it. Nope. Focus. Maybe somebody's car. Oh, hello. Oh, my fucking car. This car's giving off a weird signal. Oh. Mm, perhaps a bug of some sort from playing in the car. Hmm, interested in my car, are you? I know. Sorry about that. I'm Takiki Yagami, a detective. Oh, a real life detective. I'm a Toya Agami. I'm a prosecutor. Yeah. Oh, so you're a public prosecutor. To be honest, I loved mysteries since I was little. Detectives are so fascinating. But I've never thought I'd actually meet one like this. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? Well, Mr. Detective, what business do you have with my car? Ah, oh, you want a case? So a mystery here right now. Well, it seems to be a series of illicit snooping activities going around town lately. So I'm looking into the matter. And for some reason, your car's emitting a rather strange signal. Oh, do you think my car's bugged? That depends. Do you ever have conversations in there that you wouldn't want others to hear? Yes, certainly. Discussing the day's upcoming trials with my secretary and such. Could, could that be a reason for someone would want to bug my car? Hi. It is possible. May I search it for you? By all means. Let's go ahead and move this dead body out of the way and... Uh, oh, here it is. What? This just come from a stuffed animal. It really was in this car. Is this your bear, sir? No, Mr. Stuffalophagus! Agumi-san, I think I found the source of the signal. That's masayama -kuns. <gasps> Oh, shit. You better run, bitch. Mm -hmm. Huh? Who's that lady? This belongs to my secretary, Masayama-kun. Ah, eh? oh, crap. Damn it. I'm coming for you, lady. Oh, wow. Sakumo caught her. You shall pay for your part in this sort of crime. You got it, eh, lady? Out of the way, nerd. I take, <laughs> I take the Boston class every week. I'm serious. <laughs> nerd. Oh, shit. Let's go. <laughs> and I am Makoto Sakuma, master of the Yagami style. I shall not hold back, even against the ladies herself. Holy shit, she's doing my pose. Yeah. Woo! You know Kung Fu? Just my luck. He doesn't. He just he can just do the pose, and that's it. Aw. Excellent bluff, Sakumo. You've really gotten good at that. Your form was perfect. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you fight enough times for the look of it to rub off, at least. All right, Masuyama-san. Let's hear it. What did you do? Give me some money. What's the meaning of this, Masuyama-kun? I'm sorry. I've, uh, I've been paid off. My bad. What? By whom? What's this, that one defendant's lawyer? Yes, he claimed to be working for them. He also said he's a detective. A detective? Probably the villainous detective who's been come to talk of this town. Could you describe this person for us? I don't know what he looks like. We only talked over the phone and he didn't video chat with me. What about his voice or speaking mannerisms then? Any noticeable dialect? Talk to me, lady! I, I'm not sure. He's real quiet and he kept speaking to a, he's speaking to a minimum. 
I do think he's a male, though. Did you record the conversation? No, I was distracted not to. Damn. If only we had some sort of evidence we could use. I know. Did he happen to give you his name? No, but he said he runs the illegal detective agency. Really? That's a hell of a name. Nothing illicit about that. Nope. Wow, pretty brazen approach. Uh, he sure doesn't beat around the bush, does he? Bribery, Masayama Kun? How could you do this? Once he offered me the three million, I couldn't help myself. I mean, come on, dude. A three million? Fuck. That's some Yaks zero money. Heavens help me. What am I to do with you? Probably fire me. Give me some money, too. <laughs> yeah, nice work. We even got compensated for our efforts. <sighs> that Masayama girl's definitely getting canned, if not jail time on top of it. Well, she certainly could have thought of that before she bugged her boss. Oh, wow. And wow, who would have guessed we'd learn about a corrupt detective in town? We did find the guy, but he seems busy enough that he'll probably get another crack at We'll probably get another crack at him. Could it possibly be the guy that I fought before? So Who's talking so much smack? I agree. I mean, we're into a lot of detectives already here. <laughs> We've run into him and Wanabe. All right, that's two. Two more detectives than there was the previous night. I agree. She just seems to be suffering the strangest plague of illicit spying. And I believe my handy dandy detector could serve as the perfect antidote to this plague. Somebody. Are they going to be collectibles? Maybe. <laughs> if you want them to be. Are you supposed to be calling the whole city for bugs with that thing? Mm. That sounds like an awful lot of unpaid work. In that case, you should try consulting the buzz researcher, researcher first. Help pinpoint where you got on a search. And that gives off strong signals such as wireless bugs and spy cameras are prone to causing interference. Televisions and phones all suffer from some sort of noise when in the vicinity of co co uh, covert broadcasting devices. <sighs> ah, interesting. So if I filter for noise or something along those lines, there's a chance I could track down a bug wherever the, posi the posts are appearing. Indeed. There's a re very real possibility that there are victims on the other ends of those bugs and spy cameras. I see. Makes sense. Okay, I'll give it a try soon. <laughs> Best of luck. As upstanding detectives, it's our duty to take down this villainous investigator. Dashley detective introduction. Okay. So, Buzz. Uh, oh, here we go. What the hell? Oh, God. Your common eye and eyes are bugged. That's not good. Also, I received a new message. Uh... Hey, young son, when you have time, could you drop out of the club room, please? Oh, did I just unlock some shit? There's something I wanted to tell you about the professor. Roger that. Oh, fuck. Is this gonna be related to a club or something? I guess it must be. Yeah, it looks like we, it looks like we might have just gotten bugged. All right, well, I also gotta, I gotta go find that squirrel that I found before. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Hell yeah, we're gonna save that for later though. Yeah, I don't know if this is like, uh, just a total, a totally a side case, this other thing? Or if it's uh, collectible or what exactly? But anyway, squirrel first, then that. Okay, it was in this vicinity, right? Uh, I think. Oh, there it is, yes. Ha ha, I see you, squirrel. But what does it mean? It's got a number on it, I don't know. That's what I've been trying to figure out for a long time. Wait, did it show up on my map? Wait, it didn't show up on the map. <laughs> There's the one in the cafe. Why is it? What? Where is it? It's not on my map. Squirrel search. That's weird. I don't know. I got to refresh the area or something. Normally, it just shows up. Damn it. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to remember that's there. All right. Uh, Let's go ahead and over, head over here and check around our fucking building. All right, because I think we've been bugged. Those motherfuckers. How dare they fucking dare bug me? I bugged up. That's that shit where ah, oh, like that. Fucking see that shit? Uh, uh, fuck you. I'm mugging you now, motherfuckers. Uh, fuck this bike. Uh, that's why you ought to be scared. Uh, uh. I'm gonna get a hell of a left hook. That's right. This dead body fades into the ether. <laughs> Wait, what? When that lady went away, I could connect to the internet again? Who said that? Who's talking? What? Where's the message coming from? You? Usually it holds, hovers over somebody's head. Oh, God damn it. Uh, somebody dropped something. Where'd you drop? Oh, you. I know. Your pack of cigarettes. Oh, wait, I should have kept those. But the lady went, I don't know where this fucking message is coming from. When the lady went by, if my phone started acting weird. It's this lady right here, isn't it? It's fucking you and the lady. God damn it, I'm not picking up anything. <gasps> the 
there's a squirrel right next to my fucking agency. How did I see that? Go back, Yagami. Damn it, stop triggering cutscenes at the fucking outside of the elevator. Seriously, I'm in the middle of squirrel, of squirrel searching, okay? And bugs. Ah, Kochi mo soro soro denwa shiyo to motte ta toko. Mikoshiba goroshi no zairyo ga atsumatte kita. Ah, ato so iye ba Saori san. Kanaga kenkei no Watanabe keiji te. その人なら例の痴漢事件について聞きに来ました。なぜかエハラを事情聴取できないのでと頼まれて。警視庁の制だってさ。連中とし Yes, take me there. But let me finish my thing here. I swear to God, if you force me out of here. Oh, okay. 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 Fucking Ashino. The fucking virgin. Hi, Yagami-san! Yagami-san, you're welcome. Huh. That's good. So, tomorrow, I'll bring you the details of the crime scene. I'm afraid of watching the whole thing. I'm afraid of watching Okay, tomorrow, so. Probably gonna go in and go to sleep. I deal with the rest tomorrow. I think it's time to recharge. No. Don't you lie. Okay, good. Fuck, I was such a pissed as shit. There's a squirrel right there. I've walked by this fucking area a billion times and I didn't see this squirrel. What does it mean? Okay, see, that one showed up. Why didn't the one over here show up? That must be glitched or something. I'm just gonna have to remember that's there, I guess. When the time comes that I have to... Well, I guess. I assume I'll have to come back here. Or maybe I've already done what I need to do. Who knows? I don't even know what that is yet, but... Okay, woman passed by. I keep hearing people talk about it, and I don't see anything. Wait. Wait. I've got something. I smell some shit. Where is it? Where's the green bar? There we go. Is this lady right here? Oh shit, is it this lady? Fuck, it is this lady! I can have a bug somewhere around here. It's from that woman. The signal gets weaker when I move away from her. She has to be bugged. But how would you wire type a person exactly? It doesn't really make sense. Maybe talking to her will clear us up. Hey lady! Where's the bug? Where's the bug? Oh god! Ears to the street. Ah, no. ah, excuse me. What? You a scout? Or is this a come on? Yeah. No, no. My name's Yagami. I'm a detective. I just happened to pick up a rather odd signal coming from you. An electronic one. Huh? I'm giving you a signal? Dude! I'm giving you a signal right now. I want you to piss off. <laughs> oh, it actually take the wandering bug. Okay, never mind. This is definitely sad shit. And it seems to be going on, on all over town. I just like to make sure you're not being targeted, momiyama san Whoa, shit detective, huh? So where's the bug on me? Right on your boobs. Mm. Well, it appears to be coming from your bag. What this? The manager gave this to me just the other mm. day. Your manager? Where do you work? A cabaret club? So, your boss may have bugged you. He's the Majima son? Ah, shit, he got me ugly. Any clues why this might have happened? Not at all. He's always seemed like a really good person. Sounds like we should ask him directly. Which club is this? Rose Blossom on Ohama Street. Got it. Now make sure he comes clean. You know what? I'll meet you there. I want to hear this too. Wait, lady, you saw the bug in your back? <laughs> Everyone walk she walks by a bunch of people. Everyone's like, oh my fucking fuck! Where the fuck is that? Ohama Street. Not you. Not you. Ah, oh, there it is. It's actually not that far away. Hello? Can you explain this? Well, uh, um. 
Yagami this. Hi, I'm Takiki Yagami. The detective has sniffed out your bug. Oh, by the way, I'm also fully licensed attorney, and I welcome any civil suit involving a breach of privacy. Huh? Hi. A lawyer? Will you tell Momoyama-san why you bugged her now? Or do we need to get the police involved? Ugh. Just tell me the truth. We can settle it now. I don't want things to get worse. Don't make me pepper spray you, bitch. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll come clean. Let's call the police. God damn it. I see. So you'd heard that another club was trying to poach her. Yes. She really is the biggest draw to our club. We lost her. This place to be done for. Mm. How'd you bug her back? Well, I reached out to a detective and eventually he sent me the bag as is. Can you describe, describe him for me? Or give me a name? No, sorry. We've never been in person. So all I ever saw was this web avatar. It's a dog. Get with the avatar. Was it Toby Fox? He's also a dog. You didn't get a, a name either? No. All he mentioned was he was from the legal detective agency. Mm. So who was that guy? Hey, boss. It's true someone tried to hit on me a while ago, but I'm not going anywhere. You know that, right? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I'd consider that after he literally bugged you. Huh? Really? Mm-hmm. It's a good work environment. I get along with the rest of the girls. Though I didn't, wasn't crazy about you spying on me. There's no reason for me to leave. But despite that, you decided to bug me? How stupid. You're so dumb, Baka. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mummy Ojat. Well, momiyama san are you satisfied with this explanation? I am. Nothing's out in the open. It's water in the bridge. I do like this back, so can I keep it? Uh, maybe we should get the bug removed for it first. You just got bugged. The illegal detective agency. It's not like this doggone detective's rotten to the bone. Well, I better keep at it with the signal detector. Oh, okay. That was fast. That was a fast one. Keyword updated. Interesting. Seems like you kind of blasted this one, maybe. <laughs> These are kind of like really short ones. Oh, here we go. Okay, so then another one down here. But let's go ahead and continue with the main story. All right, so I was going to do it. I'm going to fucking do it. But gosh darn it. But first, describe a new skill. Uh, Better grip. Now I can hold on to things even longer. Let, whether it be ledges or people. Yo, what up? Am I hurt? I am. Hope you don't mind if I put on some, finally some different music. Long drill on the beach. I mean, granted, I've already heard this song from the dance club, but... Burr, burr. Yeah, it's just the music I love to go to sleep to. All right, time to crash. Ugh. And I and I woke up to a dollar. I need to meet up with a Shinokun at Iko Bakura Station. Probably best to take a taxi. Ah, sweet daytime, you have returned. Hopefully, you stick around longer this time. Damn it, sleeping didn't make the squirrel show up that I I caught before. That pissed me off. All right. Uh, Ike Bakura Station. It's not over here? Oh, I gotta take a taxi there. Gotcha. Let's go. I've noticed that the taxi uh, fare is actually a lot more expensive than you do through your phone. I guess it's the price of uh, convenience, right? Tokyo Ike Bakura Station, first line platform. Yagami-san,その看板ですね。事件前、エハラはそれにもたれかかっていた感じです。そうそう、そんな感じです。エハラはそこに立って痴漢する相手を物色してました。このキャップにサングラスの男がエハラです。防犯カメラにも映っていますし、彼の交通系IC カードにもその入場時刻が記録されています。その後、この方も1時間くらいうろつきながら、ええ、気持ち悪いですよね。その絵原の映像を撮った防犯カメラは、あれか。そうですね。Ikebukura is pretty famous in Tokyo due to the number of people who travel through it. In a station like this, the cameras almost never have a blind spot. そして9時6分、エハラはこの被害者女性に目をつけ、新宿駅に向かう電車に乗り込んでいったんです。ピンクのカーディガンの人、白いスカートの。そうです。マミヤユイさんというOLでした。
6歳になる男の子の母親ですそしてさらに電車内の防犯カメラでも2人の様子が捉えられています被害者の証言によると痴漢は最初手の甲でお尻を触っていたようでそれからだんだんスカートの中に手を入れてきたそうです胸くそ悪いな多分抵抗しなさそうなおとなしい感じの女性を狙ったんでしょうね頭にきますよ犯行が起きたこの電車は次の新宿駅までノンストップで6分被害者はその間怖くて助けを求められなかったそうですこの映像俺のスマホにも送っといてくれるねえでは次は新宿駅に行きましょう<笑>このあと向こうで痴漢が捕まる姿は痛快ですよまあその人がうちで弁護した被告人なんですけどねっいや f u c k i この電車は各駅停車もうすぐ新宿駅です八神さん今はこの電車空いてるけど事件が起きた時はもっと混んでたよなええ普段あの時間帯の乗車率は 180% ですってで俺が今いる位置が大体エハラの立ってた場所か Is there any good clue from looking around? アシノアシノ君は young attorney and get a law office in the case providing support to Sayori さん I thought I heard that they were dating I don't get a sense they tell me it hasn't really gone anywhere <laughs> you fucking pussy That's right, s e o r s o n She's my one true offer, right? Get away from her, s e n o You little shit. You little piece of shit. Uh, uh, uh. Why are you staring at me so much, y a m i s a r i Freaking me out! Stray said it's Shinjuku Station. I mean, Shinjuku! From Ike Bakura. It's about six minutes from departure to arrival. I see you! This car's pretty empty right now, but when Ihara committed his crime, it was at 180% full. 100% full meaning that all seats and straps were being used by a passenger. It's a fucking shit ton of people. That's too many goddamn people, boy. Security camera that records the train's interior. These were installed to deter train groupers, at the very least, identify them. Hmm. Okay. And it's nighttime again. God damn, that trip took a while. Oh, wait, no, we're just in. We're. Never mind, we're just under a roof. 被害者の間宮さんはこの駅に着く直前スカートに入っていた痴漢の手首を握り返しましたそしてその手の主をはっきりと見たんですじゃあ間違いなく痴漢の相手を特定できたわけだええそれに江原の手からも間宮さんの手で採取されてますで被害者から逆に腕をつかまれた江原はすぐにその手を振りほどいて慌てて逃げ出しました電車を降りた江原はホームをひた走りますそれを被害者の間宮さんが追いかけたんです周りの人に応援を頼みながらああそこから先の映像はお茶の間に何度も流れてたそうですねここまで証拠映像が揃ってると I'm almost curious if maybe the, it's going to be like he. This woman already like, knows him or something. Like this was planned out. I'm 事件の時エハラたちが電車を降りたのがここで取り押さえられたのがここねこの距離はだいたい100メートルですエハラも被害者も人をかき分けながら走っていました現場は大混乱エハラが取り押さえられた後も安全確認のために20分ぐらい電車を動かせなかったんですなあこの見取り図に防犯カメラの位置と向きを追加できるねえできますよじゃあエハラが捕まった地点に向かいがてらカメラの位置もチェックしていきましょうか
見晴らが取り押さえられたのはずっと向こうです矢神さんは防犯カメラの位置を見つけたら教えてください、okay. 奥の方で不完全に書き入れていきますよ、oh, there's one right there、これは、see one、uh, one there、frame by m a r k i n g check the cameras around here first、oh, okay Um, there. I ran off the opposite direction. Probably don't mean to mark this one. Found a camera. Um, uh, is that not all of them? Oh, this one? Okay, there we go. Okay, 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 o There we go. カメラはこれで全部チェックできたと思います。駅ホームの俯瞰図が完成しました。Shino, where are you? I hear you, but I can't see you! Has the overhead view of the station at the time of the crime? He h a r g o n off the train around 9 12 a.m. on October 7th. From deboarding, the deboarding area, he ran the direction of the arrow. Then he was tackled by concerned citizens. ここに今、防犯カメラの位置とレンズの向きを加えてみます。So each of the orange areas represents a security camera's field of view. Okay, that's a pretty wide area.、Uh, I mean, I guess the only kind of blank spot is see where that disembark point is? Like right in that area. But I mean, it's not like you could go anywhere. It's like, there's, that's like the one spot that's not super well covered、um, where the camera wouldn't necessarily catch him. Yeah, actually, I guess that, that, we see the dotted line there, too. That's showing a. That's. Yeah. Where everywhere else has been covered except for that. But I mean, what would he be able to do in that little time? Does、hmm? the dotted part of the arrow indicate a blind spot between the cameras? If so, there won't be any footage of VR running through here. Okay. This arrow shows the travel trajectory of Vihara and the victim. It goes all the way from the deboring station to where Vihara was captured. The spot where some bystanders took Yara down. That event has, was documented with someone's smartphone. This is what they call eyewitness footage. I bet the TV station shell out for this sort of thing.、Uh, and Yara and the victim de boarded here, and the train pulled in at 9 12 a.m. The victim was gripping Yara's hand, but he broke free of her, and they tried to run away. Yara got to come on, stay at the end of the day. Oh, my God, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. 何か気がついたことは江原も被害者の間宮さんも普段からこの時間を見つけたのかええ被害者は通勤に利用しているので平日はほぼ毎日江原も通勤利用なんですが、right? 犯行当日は休みで別居中の奥さんのところへ行く途中だったそうです weird じゃあホームで1時間うろついてたことについては何てその奥さんに会うのが億劫でなかなか電車に乗れなかったとあの人は何を聞いてもそんな言い訳じみた答えばかりなんです痴漢もやってないって言うんですが見つかる証拠は全部有罪を示してました結局裁判で無実を主張できる根拠は一つもなかったんです<笑>痴漢は実際にやってたでも江原はその日息子の敵であるミコシバが偉人町で殺されると知ってたんだ。お尻に目がくらんで、魔が刺すようなグラスマス。ええ、そこを考えると、江原にとって、この痴漢騒ぎは計画的なものだったはずです。もしかしたら、現行犯で取り押さえられるところまで全部。ああ、結果として、その痴漢行為自体が。ミコシバ殺しのアリバイになっただからどれだけ大っぴらに殺しとの関与をほのめかしても最後には無関係だと言い張れるなんかだんだん得体が知れなくなってきましたやつはウェルドはまず間違いなくミコシバ殺しの一味と関係してるよけどそこを口割らせんのは難しそうだなあいつは多分この件に捨て身でかかってる息子さんの復讐を果たすためにですかああ共犯者たちは誰なんでしょう江原はベテラン警官ですし殺し屋なんかとつながりがあったりするんですかね
そういう連中を雇って息子の敵を売ったとかもし仮にそんなコネがあっても大金がかかるだろうな江原にその当てはありそういいえ学校を訴えた裁判費用でカツカツだったようですそっかああ、oh. Gone on the scenes of both Mikishiba's murder and Ihara's crime, so I think I've had all the places I need to see. I think I need to go talk to this fucker. Oh, Saori san. Ehara to the second or your taste, I'm just gonna ask you to come in. Look at that. I'm just gonna ask you. うん。今回の件でエハラが何したにせよ、動機はやっぱり4年前の息子の自殺だ。その時本当に三越の意地目があったのかはっきりさせたい。で、それを聞くべきだ。ガールマゲ、そう、先生、he's not I'm not actually sure what I can even say to her at this point that will actually convince her to say shit to me. Mikashiba, Ihara? Yeah, I think I saw everything there was to see at each of their crime scenes. I also have to just get someone sensitive to talk. And the key will be le learning what happened to Ihara's son four years ago. Hmm. This all looks... I mean... Unless this woman that, he, like, he groped is, like... Complicit in like uh, this plan or whatever, right? Otherwise, everything just seems like it. Yeah, I mean, he was here doing this, right? You can't deny that he was here doing this, but it doesn't mean he didn't order somebody to do something else, right? To do some fucking murder. All right, I guess we're headed back to the school then. I don't imagine Sawa was gonna be super thrilled to talk to me. Huh, I still see the uh, girlfriend potential person here. Oh, wait, there it is. There's the nurse's office, but she's not actually. Uh, She's not actually marked on the map, though, is she? Hold on a second. Uh, I'm just gonna poke my head. Uh, wait, is she in here? Oh, I, wait. Oh, she's not here. Man, I missed her already. Is this how I'm supposed to do it, or am I supposed to like message her or something, or or just wait for her to contact me? I have no idea. I see nothing here. And probably the girlfriend's thing, but I, wait, hold on. What did the help menu say again? I don't know. It just, it's just say you interact with them girl more and boogity boogity, but maybe it is. Maybe she's just, maybe it's just late in the day. I seem we can't go into this room though. You know, so technically like the faculty is still here. So I don't know why she wouldn't be. I don't know. Maybe I have to go through like another side case with her or have to, maybe I have to wait for her to contact me or something. I wasn't really planning to do it right now, but I was literally just, I was just like, all right, how do I initiate this when the time actually comes? Uh, I'm still kind of unsure. I don't know, you guys can help sort of point me in the right direction, but... Uh, alright. Sawa-sensei! She's... God, she still looks... stressed. I wonder why! Sawa-sensei. Mikoshiba-hiro-no-satsugai-ni-wa-jutchu-hak. エハラさんが関係しています。私には関係ありません。エハラさんは三越柴が敏郎くんを自殺にまで追い込んだと思っているようです。でも第三者委員会も裁判所もそんな事実はなかったと。どっちが本当なんですか？先生ならきっとご存
同じ日に痴漢事件を引き起こしてたまるで自分だけは三越芝殺害に無関係だとアピールするようにでも本当にアピールしたかったのは多分そこじゃないえ江原さんは自分が息子のための復讐を成し遂げたんだとみんなにそう言いたくて仕方ないんですその下絵の主は三越芝博と言います彼は4年前私の息子自殺に追いやったそんな江原さんと明日渡り合うには俺にも材料が必要です。God, 4年前、本当に彼の息子は三越場のいじめを受けてたのか。今俺が先生の口から聞きたいのはそれだけです。その答えなら変わりません。三越場君がいじめをしてたなんて事実は。待ってください、先生。失礼します。あ、ちょっと。この写真の彼が江原敏郎君ですよね彼がここで聞いてると思って答えてくださいそれでも三越場のいじめがなかったと言うんなら俺も先生の言葉を信じますそしてもう二度とこちらにお邪魔しません<笑>どうですか Damn! You have to be going in hard! <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, okay. I was going to cut away and I wasn't going to hear her answer until like later. I was going to cut away and I wasn't going to hear her answer until like later. I was going to cut away and I wasn't going to hear her answer until like later. どうしたのって聞いたら人差し指を立ててよく見たら鼻血を出してましたそしてその後三越芝君が敏郎君を探しに現れたんです私は見てないよと答えましただって敏郎君の表情が状況を全部物語ってたから三越場のいじめを受けてたんですねえその後、敏郎君から聞きました三越場君たちと一緒に学校を出ると遊びのお金を払わされるんだって彼らも初めは冗談半分だったらしいんです敏郎君がクラスの平均点を下げたからお詫びにクラス全員にジュースをおごれとでもそれに三越場君は味を占めたようでした彼は成績が良くて補習してやると言っては取り巻きと一緒に敏郎君を連れ出し授業料を取ったんだそうですお母さんが働きに出てる日は敏郎君の家にも押しかけていき夕食にと置いてあったお金も授業料として何度も取ったそして敏郎君はお金を払えないとき学校で殴られたりトイレで土下座をさせられたんです誰もその様子を見てなかったんですか少なくとも私たち教師は生徒らの中には見てた子もいましたそれで私は彼らの担任の先生に報告をしたんです敏郎君から聞いたことを全部その先生はベテランで私よりもずっと経験豊富な学年主任でしたそしてこう言ったんです3年生はもうすぐ卒業だもう学校が騒ぎ立てる時期じゃないと、はあ、ありそうな判断ですね実際成績優秀な三越場君をいじめ加害者と名指しするには証拠がありませんでした敏郎君の話を裏付ける客観的な証拠がでもやっぱり何か介入して手を打つべきだったんです私にはそれが分かってなかった先生結局私がやっていたのは
なるべく校内で敏郎君が一人きりにならないように目を配ることだけそれは彼にとって何の役にも立ってなかったんですだから三学期が始まる最初の朝敏郎君は自分の部屋で首をつりました戸和信にタオルを引っ掛けてそれであなたは御子芝を問い詰めた敏郎君をいじめてたんじゃないかとええそうです Four years ago, s a s e n s e i stood up to the Mikoshiba for his terrible behavior. Then why has she kept that to herself for so long? Mikoshiba kun wa. Ijime nante shira nai to yi mashita. Sasuga no kare mo doyo shite ita yo desu. Tada, watashi wa. Ijime no chosa ni dai sansha yin kai ga hai ruto kiki. Sugu ni jittai ga akarumi ni deru to omoi mashita. 生徒たちから無記名のアンケートが取られたんですそこに見たままを書き込んだという生徒も少なくありませんでしたけどその後の裁判でいじめの事実は確認できなかったってことになったんですよねそういうアンケートがされたんなら事実確認できたはずじゃ、yeah. いじめを調べた第三者委員会は直接当事者たちに聞き取りをしたわけじゃなかったんですおまけにアンケートを取りまとめたのは例の担任でした、oh, ところが彼はいじめを見たという回答を全部握りつぶしてたんです自分がいじめの報告を受けたのに黙殺してたと知れれば責任を問われるからそれじゃあ何のための第三者委員会なのかわからないネットには校内のいじめを指摘する声もありましたがほんのわずかでした敏郎君の父親は都内に別居母親も日中はお勤めされてて学校の内情に詳しくありませんそこにつけ込んであの担任はいじめはなかったと押し通したんです校長にも理事長にも言わずに独断でそして第三者委員会は三越馬君たちが卒業する直前いじめの事実は確認できなかったと調査結果をまとめましたなんだよそれ日本では今小学生から高校生まで子供が年間300人自殺しているそうです Jesus Christ. そのうちいじめが原因とされるものは 3% 以下敏郎君のケースは Really? まれないと判断されたいや、そんなこと言うのは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことは、そんなことすべてを言うつもりでしたでもその時あの担任が学校側の弁護士を連れて私に何を証言するつもりか問いただしてきたんです自分に都合の悪いことを言われちゃ困るとええアンケート隠しがあったことは私もその時初めて聞かされましたあちらも私を味方に引き入れるために全部さらけ出すしかなかったんです。This fucker needs to eat shit. 私は敏郎君にいじめの相談を受けたただ一人の大人でした。彼はご両親にも最後まで言えなかったんだと思います。でもだからこそ。敏郎君がいじめを受けていたという客観的な証拠は何も残ってなかったんです彼の相談を録音してたわけでもありません私自身が実際のいじめを目撃したこともなかったするとそれを知った学校側の弁護士は私にこう言いました法律は疑わしきは罰せずだと確実にいじめを立証できないのであれば
三越馬君の名前を出すべきではないとそして逆にいじめはなかったと証言するよう言われたえ先生にとって難しい判断だったと思います私は証言台で事実を言うべきでしたでも別の日にはやっぱり他にどうしようもなかったと思い直してしまう今日までずっとその繰り返しですただ自分が 100% 正しかったと思えた日はありませんその後アンケートを握りつぶした単純 Yeah, that's a You're lying to yourself, lady That shit definitely would have Would have helped at least, I think 今も教団に立っているはずですそうでしたか私にその先生を責める資格なんてありませんけど Wait, where in the story did Hihara find out that Mikishibo is a bully? Was it clear at the trial whether he could really bring himself to kill a person? Yeah. Yeah. ジブンが学生だった時にも目の前でいじめがあったんです。男の子が同級生たちに追い詰められて校舎の屋上から飛び降りました。屋上から。なんとか命は助かったんだけど。13年経った今も昏睡状態です。ジーズ。ずっと
you know, talk to people and they f they figured that out. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I imagine uh, next episode when, when we do talk to Yahara, I imagine this will be pretty uh, enlightening and interesting because uh, we have honestly we only saw Yahara at the very beginning of the game when he was when he admitted to this. We haven't actually seen like or had any kind of discussion with him. So uh, I do look forward to seeing what he says. Uh, but anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.